the T-Path system, providing toilet paper as a service. Throughout the last seven weeks, we've designed, built, and implemented a smart toilet paper dispenser. It supplies toilet paper rolls from the press of a button in a smartphone app. Our preliminary design consisted of a tall enclosure that would be used to store the rolls, a hinged door that would be used to load the rolls from the top, and two servo-controlled platforms that could be controlled at the bottom to dispense them. A proximity sensor would also be used to detect when rolls are being loaded in to assess capacity accordingly. The entire setup would be controlled by a Raspberry Pi 3 computer hosting a web server that the mobile app would interface with to control the dispenser. This design was then modified slightly to accommodate for concerns that the platforms would not be able to retract in time to only dispense a single roll. To get around this, the server platforms were designed to be placed on top of each other, with the top one holding the rolls in place, giving the bottom platform adequate time to retract. Additionally, the proximity sensor was moved to the top of the door, facing down to obtain a constant reading of roll capacity based on measuring the distance to the closest roll. There were three additional parts to the dispenser that were not included in the design but were added during development. A display for pin-based authentication so that rolls may only be dispensed if the user is in the same vicinity as the dispenser, a metal contact to be used to determine whether the lid is open at a given time, and a holding area to stop rolls from flying outwards when they are dispensed. The circuit for the dispenser fits perfectly on a half-size breadboard. Because the proximity sensor is analog, an MCP3008 analog to digital converter is used to properly take readings from the Pi. Both the display and the driver board for the servos use an I2C interface. Because their I2C addresses are different, they are able to operate properly in parallel with each other. The lid switch is a simple digital input that uses an onboard pull-up resistor to determine if a GPIO pin is grounded. The mobile app has a simple and easy to use interface. On startup, the app will make a request to the Pi's web server to obtain the current capacity of the dispenser and displays the number on screen. Pressing the dispense button will prompt the user to enter a pin. At the same time, a four-digit number will be sent to the display of the dispenser, which the user must submit. If the submitted pin is incorrect, an error will be thrown and no rolls will be dispensed. Submitting the correct pin allows the bottom platform to open up and dispense a single roll. The capacity is then updated to reflect the remaining stock. If no rolls are in capacity, an error will be thrown informing that the dispenser must be refilled. Bringing everything together while also working remotely was no easy task, but after weeks of designing, building, and developing, we managed to achieve our first successful dispense. Dispense 3741. Yay! Awesome! The final product can hold up to six rolls of toilet paper at a given time and can dispense one roll in roughly 2.5 seconds. Performing at max speed, the dispenser is capable of emptying a full stock within 15 seconds time. Toilet paper as a service. Making the world a better place, one roll at a time.